Okay, so welcome back to our video on internet data analysis. So we will still, uh, we are still on the topic of the group dis frequency distribution for interval data or data. So we have here uh, on the early, on the on the other video or the previous video we have managed to complete four columns of our frequency distribution table, and now we will try to complete everything. Okay, so first we have here the the entries or the part of the table that we have already tallied we have the real limits the integral limits the tally and the frequency okay now the next one will be all about the midpoint or the mo so our mo so mo stands for just like here mo stands for midpoint so how to get the midpoint so you just uh, add the this one is to the integral limits then divide by 2 so for example our first uh, limit our first 2 is 80 and 84 so we have 80 plus 84 over 2 this is equal to 82 just write in here so midpoint so mo for the first interval so this is 80 plus 84 over 2 so that will be 82 so we have here 82 then you could do the same for this one or the other method is to sub subtract um, 5 to our first midpoint because everything in here will just be equal to f uh, the interval is equal to 5 this is will be 77 so you could check so 75 plus 79 divided by 2 that will be equal to 77 then we have 72 minus 5 so this will be 67 62 57 then we have here 52 then we have uh, 47 42 37 32 27 22 then we have i believe this is uh, 17 then we have here the last one will be 12 okay so that is how you are going to get the midpoint now we will go to cpf or cf less than or the commute cumulative frequency less than so for the cumulative frequency less than we will start at the bottom so for, so in order to do that so first we will write the frequency for this interval so let's just have this one on uh, i almost use all the colors so let's just have this one in maroon okay so we have here for this one the frequency is one then the next column or the next interval so you will add this one to the frequency so 1 plus 1 this is 2 2 so just do the same for the next interval so 2 plus 0 this is 2 2 plus 1 this is 3 3 plus 0 this is 3 3 plus 3 this is 6 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 5 16 16 plus 16 this is 22 22 plus 7 this is 29 29 plus 4 33 then we have 33 plus 4 37 37 plus 1 38 38 plus 1 39 and 39 plus 1 40 okay then for this cumulative frequency greater than so again we will have maybe blue okay so cumulative frequency greater than so we we'll start here so we have 1 so 1 plus 1 this is 2 2 plus 2 this is 3 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 4 11 11 plus 7 18 18 plus 6 24 24 plus 5 so basically you have this one yeah 24 plus 5 then the answer you will write here the answer 29 so this is how you do that so for just go back to cf less than so that will be the line plus then this will be your answer 
Okay, so we just erase that one first so that our table will be neat. Okay, this is 18 plus 6, so this will be 24. 24 plus 5, that will be 29. 29 plus 5, that will be 34. 34 plus 3, so 34 plus 3 is 37. 37 plus 0, that will be 37. 37 plus 1, that will be 38. 38 plus 0, that will be 38 again. 38 plus 1, that will be 39. And 39 plus 1, that will be 40. Okay. Next, we have the uh, we have the CPF less than okay. So CPF uh, less than. So the CPF less than is you will base on the CF. Then you will divide it to the total number of frequency. It is forty. Then the then. The answer will be multiplied by 100 because this is a percentage. So CPF, so that is the equal to the CF less than of the interval over the total number of frequency times 100. So for the first example, we have 40 over 40. So this is equal to 100%. So this is 100%. And we have for the next one, this 39 over 40. So we have here, just use our calculator. Okay, so we have 39 over 40. So this is equal to 0.975, so it's 97.5. So let's just write. 97 okay. just use blue okay we have 97.5 then the next one is okay so we have 38 divided by 40 so 38 divided by 40 then times 100 so this is equal to 95 okay so 95 so the same process for the next interval 37 over 40 that will be equal to 92.5 then the next one will be 33 divided by 40, that is 82.5 Then 29 divided by 40, that is 72.5 Then we have 22 divided by 40, that is 55% Then we have 29 divided by 40, that is um, 40% Then 30 11 divided by 40 that is 27.5 percent then we have 6 divided by 40 that is 15 percent and 3 divided by 40 that is 7.5 percent same 3 divided by 40 7.5 percent 2 divided by 40 that is 5 percent same 2 divided by 45 percent and we have 1 divided by 40, this is 2.5%. So the same goes for CPF greater than. So we'll base here. So this is 1 over 40 times 100. So that will be 2.5. And 2 divided by 40 times 100. So that will be 5. So this will be 7.5. So 3 divided by uh, 40 or times 100. Then we have 7. So this is 10%, then we have uh, 11, this is 20%, then we have, then we have,
Okay, so we have 11 divided by 40. So let's just check that one. So 11 divided by 40. So that is. Uh, we we'll start from 7. I believe. Because I believe 7 is wrong. 7 divided by 40. That is 17.5. So this is 17.5. So we we'll just place this one. Okay. So the place we have added is 6. This, will be, this is the place where we will begin our 0. So we have here 60 minus. Here 60 minus 45. So that will be 25. And we have 27.5 minus 45. So 27. Uh, 45 minus. 27.5 so that is 17.5 so 17.5 then this will be 10 is also 10 then you have 2.5 then 2.5 then below so we have 60 minus so we will be um, considering this one the CPF greater than to get this here so we have 60 minus a significant point five minus 60 so this would be 12.5 then the next one is as uh, 85 85 minus uh, 72.5 85 minus 72.5 so that will be again 12.5 this is 85 minus 92 so uh, 92.5 92 minus uh, 85 so it's 7.5 7.5 then we have here 0 then we have 2.5 0 2.5 and 2.5 
and that is the whole table for our frequency distribution table okay so thank you for watching this video and as always keep on studying